Okay, so eating healthy is good, but it's important to keep mm -hmm. up on your news headlines as well. That's true. So I'm <laughs> glad things right. are opening up again here, girls, because I was worried that we have to keep doing the news from home. I started experimenting with that. If this went any longer, here's what your news from home could have looked like. Hello, 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 hello. I'm Carl Bryanson, broadcasting from the center of the Carlson Broadcast Center. It is the 53rd day of April or June Timber. Here are your headlines uh, from home. We are following bending news in the living room. It appears the couch cushions are on the verge of collapse. One area seeing all the social distancing. So far unclear how many programs this man watched or if he will move from that spot. Also hearing more inactivity in the master bedroom. For that, we go to our reporter in the field, Sonny Carl Bryan. Sonny, I understand you have an eyewitness. Thank you, Carl. I'm here with Mr. Cowclock here, who's been trying to get this man out of bed. He's been laying there like a grizzly bear, happy to hibernate. Now, Mr. Clock, you spoke with him. What did you say? Wake up. Don't sleep your life away. There you have it, sleeping his life away. Carl, back to you. Thanks, Sonny. Perhaps we check your weather from the window with Jet Doppler. What's out there, Jet? Well, from where I'm standing, we got a clear view outside. It looks good. You see it yourself. So far, we had three neighbors walk by. None of them was wearing long pants, so I guess it's warm out there. I can find out, but I ain't want to put no shoes on. Carl? Ugh, riveting. Well, we like to cook on this show. Today for you, a smashing recipe. Of course, for that, our resident chef, Chip McKitchen. Chip. This one will take you a minute, like one minute. Take the burrito like so. Pull it on the bag till it slips right out. Pop it on a plate. Into the microwave, push the button, and wait. And when it's done, it comes out all burning hot on the sides and nice cold in the middle, just like Mama used to make. Carl? That's all for now. Bringing you your headlines from home, I'm Carl Bryanson, wishing you a pleasant quarantine and a fond whatever day is today. <laughs> whatever day <laughs> is today. We don't know. Brian, was that a BYU spatula you used as a microphone at one point? You can get a lot of sound out of that spatula. Mm. You never quite mm. know what's going to work. Crystal clear. Mm. Crystal yeah, very clear. Very good. So I love all the accents. Right. You're yeah. good. Well, I mean, you never know. I have a lot of people living in my house, right? And so we all just kind of quarantining together. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem, mm -hmm. Bri. Mm -hmm. One <laughs> accent kind of bleeds into the other. Sure. And then they, they go back and forth a little. Yeah, you could have like a country kind of English guy, and he kind of comes out to be the same person. So I like yeah. the McKitchen dude. I know. That make a it a one. burrito. We talked about this last mm -hmm. week saying, Brian, what are you going to come up with next? Yeah. And I like what you came up with, my friend. You're you never know when you're going to see, uh, <laughs> see my bare feet on this show, right? Ew. <laughs> well, if yeah. you can't be David Osman uh -huh. and blow us away with your voice. Right. You're Brian and Bri you make us laugh. Yeah, we started here. The Here was the level of standard here with David and I'm all the way down here. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> Dropped you down just a little bit. Just nice, a little bit. Nice job, Brian. Thank you, Nisha. All right. Coming up in the kitchen. So we're back there with saddle up for a bean dip and a little southern inspiration. We'll make some Texas caviar. Plus, the Hogle Zoo needs you. See how you can help them care for animals during our pandemic.